Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a crazy build order for the English in Age of Empires 4. And this one's for a Dark Age villager rush. So the main idea of this English build order is to make use of the fact that the English villagers have bows to attack with. And it gives you a really good opportunity to just step forward and use these auto hitting arrows to take out some villagers of your enemy at a distance. So the main aim of the build is to essentially just go forward and deny a lot of the resources that your enemy has got. Hopefully going to be slowing them down because it is very all in strategy. It's generally high risk, high reward, but you want to be denying the gold, denying the berries, wood, anything you can just to slow them down and cause general havoc as well as trying to pick off some villagers in the process. They can deny these resources either by walling up the resources or building outposts on them, which you can then garrison the villagers into in order to pick off any other enemy villagers that might come in the vicinity of the outpost but it's quite a fun strategy to use with the english in age of empires 4 and it's certainly one that i quite enjoy so if you do enjoy age of empires 4 content you want to see more build orders and other age of empires 4 stuff then do consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to like the video as it will really help the video to spread further and let's dive in and have a look at the build okay so the first thing you do is send all of those starting villages onto the sheep and you get two villages that come out are gonna to go to sheep now once they uh, are out we're gonna do something a little bit crazy uh, which is uh, sending those starting six villages forward towards the enemy base so that's probably gonna be around the you know, roughly around the minute mark when we send those villages forward and uh, just make sure that you're just uh, gathering up the initial uh, sheep that are surrounding your uh, base just to start off with with your scout because you're gonna be needing to send your scout forward very very soon so quickly uh, try and get as many sheep as you can uh, before one minute and then uh, you'll be sending them forward so we're at 47 seconds 48 seconds and we're now sending those uh, six villagers forward and the scout is going to stop just drop those sheep off and go forward as well so um the next two villagers that come out are going to go onto the sheep as well so we're going to have four on sheep and that's only um all you need really for uh, constant villager production is four on sheep and you should be absolutely fine now um obviously i've not uh, done any scouting yet so i don't particularly know where the enemy is you can see on the mini map but um age of empires 4 is quite good in the fact that you can generally guess where the enemy base is because it's essentially just opposite yours and um, it's not really that much variance to it uh, from what i've noticed in age of empires 4. um obviously we've just made a house there uh, a little bit of village riding time there needed to go on to the uh, onto the food but now we've got the four on food uh, we can send four over to wood and that's just so that we've got enough wood to start making uh, towers perhaps outposts and uh, potentially uh, walls so as you can see villagers are just looping their way around the gold piles need to be your priority uh, in what you're doing here so the main aim of this strategy is to deny the villagers from collecting gold essentially uh, just to uh, deny the age up and uh, as you can see the villagers are coming in now we're going to start picking off that villager the scout's coming in for a little bit of extra support and that villager is down and out so from that point onwards we need to start uh, trying to find the other gold uh, pile just so we can get that one denied as well and we, we do want to do something with this this one just to make sure that it's fully denied and whether that means building a wall around it or building a tower or an outpost um, we'll come back and have a look at that later but for now we've uh, distracted them enough to uh, take them off of the off of that main bit of gold so the scouts going around just trying to find where this uh, extra gold pile is almost found it i don't know why i've doubled back there i think it's just because i decided to wall off that gold but we've got the four on the uh, wood now so the next uh, villagers are going to come out the next three villagers are going to go over to gold so we can start uh, collecting a bit of gold and start looking at uh, getting into the next age soon enough so um, you probably could go for two here uh, I suppose it would depend really on what strategy you're going for uh, certainly two would be fine because it's going to be a little while off before we do uh, progress to the next age but we're going for three and uh, that would just give you the option in case you want to drop a uh, um, a barracks and perhaps get some vanguard arms out just to help you with uh, you know, protecting your villagers but as you can see we're walling up the, uh, the gold there and the opponent started to panic a little bit at this point he's getting a bit frustrated as you can see he's, he's started to move his town center here and uh, my scout's just going to go in there and prevent the town center from being dropped but 
all that's uh, done for him really is just um, caused a lot of idle time essentially so he's getting really frustrated at this point he does have his Khan in there trying to uh, cause some damage but kind of picked me off with the villager as well there but not really going to achieve it too much um, once you've got the three on gold you want to start sending all the rest to sheep I do make a mistake there that villager came out automatically just because I was dealing with that up there gone to the gold but that will come back to the sheep and then, then essentially the next ten villagers that come out are going to go over to sheep and then we'll send another four to wood and that will save a good uh, production of uh, longbowmen when you do reach the next age so that's going to be the main aim uh, we'll be able to get up to the food age using this build order at around seven or eight minutes and uh, we should be able to uh, just spam long bone after that as you can see lots of uh, frustration being caused here uh, i have tried this on the um i want to say ranked queue it's the quick match queue uh, five games i've played uh, one three lost two uh, the two that i did lose one of them get, was against the english which uh, i probably wouldn't recommend doing this against the english because it's kind of uh, defeating the object of using this bow bonus that the villagers have got because yeah. the English villagers will also have them so uh, yeah a little bit pointless against the English and the other one was against uh, the Delhi Sultanate uh, but the actual main villager rush itself worked well denied his resources uh, delayed his um, upgrade or um, landmark building time and I did end up with an 11 villager lead uh, but uh, he, uh, whilst I was uh, was concentrating on spamming longbowmen, he made a load of uh, Delhi Sultanate man at arms, which uh, had the uh, honed blades upgrade, and ended up uh, just wrecking my army essentially. Which, uh, no, but the actual build itself works absolutely fine. And as you can see, we've got on the gold there. We're picking off a villager there. That gold's denied. The top gold's fully denied now as well. And that is pretty much where he's going to uh, resign anytime soon so it is a build order that can cause people to rage quit as you see the guy did disconnect and that is match complete but that is it for this one guys so uh, do try this one out let me know how you get on in the comments and uh, let me know what you think to this uh, strategy it's a little bit of a crazy one people certainly don't seem to expect it 